Hi, I'm Shane with eTorah.com. Today I'm going to walk you through how to install the Optronics side marker light. These are going to be mini LED lights. And what's nice about these is they're also going to be available in amber. Keep in mind, amber ones go in front of the axle, red ones are going to go behind the axle. What sets these apart from the incandescent lights is the LED lights are going to last about 50 times longer, they're going to use a lot less energy, and they're going to be a lot brighter. These lights are also going to be sealed, so we're not going to have to worry about water getting inside. They're able to be put on any trailer that could be potentially going down on the water, like your boat trailer, sea dew waters, or sea dew trailers. Uh, any personal watercraft trailer, again, that's going to be uh, where the light's going to be fully submerged in the water. These lights are going to be a two wire design. You're going to have a power wire and a ground wire, two diodes, two white LEDs with a red, very durable polycarbonate lens and base. The nice thing about the polycarbonate lens is we're not going to have to worry about when we're driving rocks or something coming up, hitting the light cover and potentially causing damage to the cover itself. These lights are going to require 12 volt power. They're going to be two and a half inches long, an inch and one sixteenth wide, and five eighths inches thick. The holes, center to center, are going to be an inch and seven eighths. As far as our hardware, uh, the hardware, the mounting hardware is not going to come with the lights. Uh, you can do what we did here. We used self-tapping screws, went right into the side. You can also use nut and bolts. Another thing I will recommend is because the wires are outside, it's using heat shrink butt connectors, wherever you connect two wires together. The reason you want that is going to protect that connection from corrode, uh, from moisture getting on that. With all that being said, let's go ahead and walk through the installation. To begin our installation, our red uh, side marker lights need to be mounted behind the rear axle and to the lower side of the trailer. Anything up on top needs to be an orange uh, marker light or amber. First thing we're going to do is we need to drill a hole to feed our wires through. You can see a couple holes here. I'm actually just going to widen one just a little bit, enough to get my ring terminal in. I'm going to take a couple self tappers and I'll bolt it right into place. Now, the self tappers do not come with the lights, however, they can be found here at eTrailer.com. You just want to be sure when putting in the self tappers, you do not over tighten them because you don't want to crack the lens. Next, you want to ground your white wire and make sure it's on metal. If your frame looks like this, it's a good idea to clean that frame off. Sandpaper or something like that, try to get some bare metal so you have good contact. After that, we're going to run our power wire. To run your power wire, you can run this a couple different ways. You can run it to any one of the lights on your trailer. You can run it across your frame and tie it into the other one that you installed on the other side. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take it straight back and go to my tail light because it's the closest light. Once you've got it hooked up, you've tested it out, you know everything's working, you're ready to go. That's gonna do it for a look at the Optronics LED side marker light. 